Hello everybody and welcome to our presentation protest to look at the year nine options for this year. Unfortunately, because of COVID, we're unable to hold this live, but I'm hoping that the uh, presentations that you're going to see are going to give you a great idea about what's actually being offered. Now, it's the first time actually in your education that you're getting the chance to choose subjects you'd like to follow at GCSE and vocational level. That means that when you come back into year 10, these will form part of your curriculum, along with the core subjects of English, math, science. So I hope that what we're showing you on these presentations help you make those informed decisions. And should you have any concerns or problems about that, the staff are readily available to discuss it with you so that when we come to the process, you are actually able to choose the subjects that you would like to do in year 10. So I wish you the best of luck with that. I hope you enjoy the presentations and don't forget, talk to us for any, any uh, concerns you might have or any support that you need through this process this year. Thank you very much. Hello everybody, I'm Mrs Allen, the head of Year 9, for those of you who don't know me. I know this can be a difficult time for young people, um, especially if they haven't made any decisions as to what they want to do. Um, I think this is exacerbated at the moment because of the COVID situation and the fact that students are unable to talk to their subject teachers about the potential options that they want to choose. Um, one or two things that I want you to think about when you are beginning to make those selections. If you don't agree with the subjects that your son or daughter want to do, then aim for a compromise. Talk through with them, ask them the reasons why they want to take a subject and think it through very, very carefully before you make the decisions. I also want you to think about considering the subjects that you perhaps don't know about. Um, the students um, will be asked to select from a number of subjects that they haven't actually necessarily taken before. Um, have a good look through them, listen to the information that you are being provided with and then make decisions in relation to those. If your son or daughter has an idea of the area that they would like to work in eventually, identify the kinds of subjects that they would need to be able to do that kind of job. Um, they can use QDOS to help find out that information if they wish. Um, avoid them taking a subject just because their friends are doing it. Um, friendships change, but also they need to make sure that they're not just picking a subject because they like a subject teacher. They might not necessarily be teaching them um, when it comes down to it. They need to know their strengths. Um, they need to think about whether they're good at exams or whether they are better at writing coursework. Um, are they good at written work or are they better at practical? Those are the things that they need to consider when they are actually making their option choices. I hope that this information helps. Thank you. I'm going to talk about the curriculum in years 10 and 11 at Kettering Science Academy. I hope that parents and students are watching this, but I'm going to speak directly to the students. This is your curriculum and I want you to think carefully about it. The curriculum is everything you do at school. It's not just your exams. It's the English and maths that you learn, and it's also the citizenship, the personal development, and the sport that you do. The purpose of the curriculum is to prepare you for the next stages of your lives, whether that is moving into sixth form, which I hope many of you will want to do, or going to college or taking an apprenticeship. Some of the curriculum is so important that all of you will do it, and we call this the core curriculum. Some of it is more flexible, and this is where we offer a wide range of subjects so there is something for everyone. It's really important that you think about this carefully, as the decisions made now will affect you in the future. For this reason, it is not a completely free choice. There are rules which I'm going to explain. First, I need to go through some other things. The English Baccalaureate is something that many of you will have heard of. It's not a subject, it's a set of subjects which we believe it's important for most of you to take. This is because the research tells us that this set of subjects is the best way to open doors for you. The top universities have said very clearly that this is the best way to prepare yourselves for university. But it's not just about university. The EBAC is a set of strong GCSEs covering a wide range of key areas which we believe will provide an excellent start to your life and career, whatever you choose to do. Even if you're not thinking about university now, you may do one day, and we don't want you, when you're older, to look back and wish that you'd taken a different set of subjects when you were in year 10. 
Okay, so first, the core curriculum. English and mathematics are essential for everyone. All students do sciences, that's combined science or triple science, which is separate GCSEs in physics, chemistry and biology. And Mr Stanger will give a separate talk on that. Then we have the citizenship and personal development curriculum, which is so important to your growth as a person. And everyone does PE because it's important for us all to be as healthy as we can and to enjoy the benefits of sport. As well as the core curriculum, you will take four other subjects and this is where you need to think carefully about what you would like to do. There's a lot to choose from, but it is not a completely free choice. Everyone takes either history or geography. You can choose both. Most of you are expected to take either French or German, whichever you are studying now, and we will let you know if that applies to you. And you will all take two other subjects from the full range of subjects that we offer. Triple science and computer science are very academic subjects. If we believe that you have shown the potential to take either of these, we will let you know. All of this information is in the booklet. Let's look at some examples. Some students will take a very academic set of subjects, maybe history, German, triple science and computer science. Another student might prefer to take geography, French, art and sports studies. Someone else might do geography, health and social care, construction and art. Some students will be invited to take the functional skills or extra English and maths lessons instead of one of these four options and we will let you know if this is you. I'm going to go back to the summary but before I do I just want to link back to the English Baccalaureate because that explains why we've set the rules like this. Because you will all do either history or geography, those of you who continue with a language will gain the English Baccalaureate automatically because of the subjects you are doing. That's as well as your other two subjects. There's one last thing that I want to say, and it's important. Not everyone gets exactly the subjects they ask for. It's impossible for me to do that. For example, if you are the only student who chooses photography, we won't be able to run photography, even if you put it as your top choice. Instead, I would make sure that you get your next choice on the list. Uh, also, if your top two subjects are on at the same time, you won't be able to do both. I will try and avoid this, but I can only do that when I have all of your preferences back and I can see what you all want to do. Uh, finally, please don't worry about this. Because of the rules that I've explained, you can't make a choice here that will hold you back later on. You can only make good choices from the subjects that we have on offer. Now it's up to you to tell us what you want.